Hi YouTube, this is your girl Brittany. Um, this is my first video on YouTube. Um, I hope everybody can hear me because this is my sixth time trying to make this video and trying to get clear sound so everybody can hear me. So I hope and I pray that people can hear me on this video. But um. But yes, um, I am going to cite my poem. It's called my, um, excuse me, not mine, but our proper place. Um, the reason why I am citing my my poem on um, YouTube is because I really want people to be inspired to live a better life and I want to encourage some people to you know just to be happy and just be grateful in life and just to know that there is a God above that is watching over us and that is protecting us and that is keeping us safe from harm and danger. And right now, tonight, I'm going to cite my poem. As y'all all know. So, I'm going to hurry up. I'm not going to rush through it, but I'm going to do it as fast as possible because right now it is almost 10.30. And I have school in the morning, and then again, I have to go, I have to go get something to eat, and I have to study for a little bit because I have a midterm in maybe two and a half or three weeks. So, I have to make this um, as quick as possible. So, I hope and pray everybody can hear me, and I hope and pray that this poem touches somebody's heart. And I hope y'all enjoy, okay? Well, here I go. Our proper place. The girl who doesn't feel love. She sits in her room crying every night. Putting her stomach because she feels like the one growing in her will only love her. The guy that's hanging in his crew with the gun in his hand because he feels like he has to kill to get a sense of respect. The girl on the bridge with the rope around her neck wants to take her life because she feels like she's not needed. The guy who was abused as a child feels like he has to abuse other women to cover his pain. The girl who sits alone because people misuse her. The guy who comes home at night, high and drunk, because people mess up his head. The girl who gives up her body because her father wasn't there. The guy who's with another guy because he was sexually molested by his own mother. The girl who says, I just love sex because it feels good. Or the guy who goes out and sells drugs because he has to help his mother and his little sister to survive. But, if we were in our proper place, that God has placed us 
that girl will know that she is loved. That God will know that he has respect from the most high God. That girl will know that she has a purpose here on earth. That guy will not have the hurt of the women because he knows he knows that God will heal him of his past hurt. That girl will know that she is not alone. That guy will come home from church high and filled with the spirit feeling good instead of coming home high off weed or drunk from for sort of drink. That girl will know that she has a father above that loves her with all his heart. The guy will step out of his confusion of his sexuality. That girl will know that she doesn't have to misuse her body because she is a jewel. And that guy will know that there's a God of miracles waiting to snatch him and his family out of poverty. When will you know your proper place? The time is now. Before we lose young souls in our generation, know your purpose. You know what? I'm going to say this. And I really think the devil is trying not to have this video posted on YouTube because this is my sixth time trying to post this video because I know that this poem has a message that somebody needs to hear. And this video will post because somebody needs to hear this. And just to let you know, side note, this poem, I did not sit down and I did not make all this stuff up. All this stuff that you heard in this poem is based on things that happened in my life or that has happened. Well, I wouldn't say or, I say and has happened in some of my friends' life. Because there's too much stuff that has been going on and that people do not know about. I have friends that have tried to commit suicide. I have friends that are out there selling drugs because they said that they have to take care of their family because they can't get a job or they can't do this. Or there's people out there, there's young girls that I know personally that are out there having sex because they say that they're afraid of being left alone. And they're afraid of not having a male figure hold them. And I myself the person who say I experienced some things in life that I thank God that He has brought me out from. I'm eighteen years old. And emotionally, mentally, and physically, I've been through a lot that a lot of people don't know that I've been through. Only probably a few people know, or I maybe mean one or two that I've told that people know. But I thank God that He has still kept me. And that he is using me for a purpose. So I pray and I have faith and I believe with all my heart that whoever is listening to this and that whoever has found this video, I hope and I pray that whatever it is that you're going through, that it will end because God is watching over you and he is protecting you and he is loving you.
and his arm is all around you. All you have to do is call to him. Call to him. And he will answer you. And he will protect you. And he will keep you from all of your problems and all your issues. All your past hurts and past pains and everything that you have been going through. They will all be passed away. And you won't have to worry about them anymore. Because God knows your pain. And he knows how you feel. And he doesn't want you to feel that. He wants you to be happy. And he wants you to be joyful. He wants you to live a wonderful life. All you have to do is get close to him. And that's what I'm trying. And that's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what everybody should do. Get close to him. Because he will make your life a million times better. A million times better. So, that's enough for tonight. Right now, 10.35, October 13th, 2010. Hopefully, I will see y'all next week. I, have a, a, I pray I have another plan for y'all that will inspire somebody and encourage somebody. So, I, um, I will see y'all very soon. And yes, that's it. I will see y'all soon. And I will see y'all next week, okay? I hope everybody has enjoyed. And leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think. And or leave me a message. And I will try to respond or reply back as soon as possible. Or whenever I can. Okay? Well, everybody have a good night. And... Be safe and know that if anybody has any issues or problems, they can contact me and they can talk to me, you know, because I am a very good friend to talk to. Okay, so that's it. That is enough for tonight. I um, have to go, have to go eat and go study and then go to bed because I have class early in the morning. But thank God that tomorrow is my last day for school for the week. <laughs> But yes, okay, bye everybody.